Hi, and welcome to my first Barvember solution for 2022. A shop is having a sale. On Monday, a coat is reduced by 10%. On Wednesday, the coat is reduced by a further 50%. And on Friday, the coat is reduced by a further two thirds. And on Monday, we're told the coat costs £135 more than it does on Friday. And here is the question, which is, how much did the coat cost before it was reduced in the sale? Now, I am using squared paper because I can't draw for toffee. Of course, you could do exactly the same thing on blank paper. You would just draw your own part. But I want to, what I'm going to do is draw a bar that has 10 equal parts because I'm going to start by reducing by 10%. So I'm just going to draw a bar that is that has 10 equal parts. So 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Okay. And I'm going to make my parts very clear. All right, so that's my 10 equal parts. And so what happens on Monday, a coat is reduced by 10%. So I'll start by putting that in. So Monday, well, that's going to be one, one of these parts, isn't it? 10%. So Monday, 10%. There we go. Right. On Wednesday, the coat is reduced by a further 50%. Now we've got nine parts left, nine divided by two, half of nine is four and a half. So I'm going to have to divide. So that's one, two, three, four and a half. So let's put this in there. So this is the discount on Wednesday. Let's go draw that in there. Wednesday. That's that 50%. Now I've just divided this part um, into two. And because I want to deal with equal parts in bar models, what I'm going to do is divide all of them now. Okay, so instead of having an original 10 equal size parts, I'm going to have 20. Okay, right, so that's now the whole model consists of 20 equal size parts. Okay, so that's Wednesday. What happened on Friday? Well, on Friday, the coat is reduced by a further two thirds. So let's have a look. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine parts left. And nine divided by three is three. So every three of these is one third. So that's there we go. One third, two thirds. Okay. So that takes us to here. So this is Friday and that's the two thirds. Okay. So let's see what we are told now. On Monday, it says that a co the coat costs £135 more than it does on Friday. So Let's think about this carefully. You do have to be a bit cautious here, I think, because where's Monday? Is is this Monday, this Monday or this Monday? Well, on Monday, the coat was reduced by 10%. So the price on Monday is, all right, the price on Monday is here. That's Monday, okay? Monday's price is there, okay? And what is and what we're told is on Monday, the coat costs £135 more than it does on Friday. What's the cost on Friday? Well, on Friday, the cost is here. OK, that's the discount that took place, um, presumably first thing on Friday morning. And on Friday, that was how much the coat costs. So the difference is here. And we're told that that difference is 135 pounds. Now, because I'm dealing in, with equal parts, I now have a value that I can attribute to 
these some of these equal parts. Um, how many? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I know that fifteen parts, fifteen parts equals one hundred and thirty five. Therefore, one hundred and thirty five divided by fifteen will give me the value of each part, which is nine. So I now know that each of these parts has a value of nine. I'm writing it in on this one. I could write nine in every one of these parts. I'm not going to, but I could. Right. So let's see how this helps us solve our question. And let's see where our question is. What I actually haven't done is mark in where the question is. It says, how much did the coat cost before it was reduced in the sale? Now, that is the whole thing. This was the this was the cost of the coat, all right, before we started our mad reductions, okay? So this was the, the, the cost of the coat originally. That's what we're asked for the, before it was reduced. And we know because that that's 20 parts, don't we? Originally, I had 10 parts and then I subdivided that. So I've got 20 parts in total. I know that each part has a value of nine. So I want nine times 20, which gives me 180 as my final answer. I'll put that in here. Okay, that's it. I hope it helps.